Hey guys, Indy Prepper here. This time we're talking about the mainstay food rations, the emergency food rations. Great stuff for prepping, surviving, keeping around just in emergencies, you know, keeping your car, keeping your boat, uh, keeping your cabin, just whatever. Um, keeping the house, heck, I don't know. Whatever you want to use them for. There's a lot of different type of emergency rations and small compact forms out there. I think I've tried them all. I uh, may not have. There may be a few oddball ones out there that I can't remember, but I think these are the most cost efficient, in my opinion, the tastiest overall. Uh, some of them taste like cardboard and dirt, which again, if I'm starving, I don't care. I need something to fill my belly, but the mainstays, they're not bad. If you look around, you can get them for cheap. You see, I got a giant stash of them here that I just got in tonight. I was going to do this video over the weekend, but my supply didn't arrive till tonight. Um, this probably doubles my supply of these, I guess, give or take. Maybe not quite doubles, but uh, had a lot of these for quite a while. They last a long time in storage, you know, whatever type of storage condition you got. They're reasonably priced overall. Yeah, as a bag of rice or beans or something cheaper, yeah, but I got to prepare those. These I can eat straight up. So, you know, like a jar of peanut butter. You know, these are going to last a lot longer than a jar of peanut butter. And peanut butter's thirst provoking. I love peanut butter. Great stuff, but you're going to be thirsty. One of the best things about these, they're packed full of nutrients and all that, and they don't tend to provoke your thirst, which sounds kind of crazy, but once you try them, you'll know what I mean. You eat them, you say, well, I should be thirsty, but, you know, after eating this block of stuff, but I'm not. Now, basically all these things come in little kind of pre-cut, pre-measured sections in the foil packet ready to go. Um... There's several sizes. This is the biggest one. This is the 3600 calorie version uh, that comes with nine kind of pre-marked scored blocks. So you can break them off quite easily for individual servings if you're serving multiple folks and you're trying to ration things out. Good to go. Let me show you up front. All sorts of information on this thing. You're not going to be able to see it probably with the uh, shininess of the pack here, but these are Coast Guard certified and all that. You got nine little blocks there, if you can see that there. Nice sealed up, airtight foil, waterproof, heat proof, just good stuff. It, it's going to last for a while. Uh, one of the reasons I didn't do this video before was that I couldn't remember when you ordered them new exactly how long they lasted. So, you know, I had some for quite a few years and they're getting close to expiration within the next year or so. So, you know, I'm going to eat a few of them. I've eaten some in the past, but they're okay. It's, it, I think it's a good idea. Any kind of survival prepping food, you need to eat it occasionally. You need to eat it on a I don't say a regular basis, but enough that you're comfortable eating it. That doesn't bother you. I do that with hardtack and some of the other stuff. I'm going to do a bit on hardtack at some point. It ain't that bad if you know what you're doing. But uh, anyway, this stuff, fairly decent, ready to eat, good to go. The good thing about these, they are packed full of nutrients and vitamins, good to go. And then do you need that for a two to three days survival? Eh, maybe not, but certainly is a nice addition. I like having all the extra vitamins and all that, so I don't have any issues. Nothing malfunctions on me. Um, you need some sodium, you need some potassium, you need some other stuff. Just to make your muscles work and all that. You're probably going to get that for basic foods, but this stuff's a little enriched. So, it's decent enough. Um, got these recently from CDN Investments. They had a sale going on during the week last week. And I get all their updates and emails and all that. Um, the 3600 calorie one typically runs you about $6 a, a block here for 3600 calories. Uh, they had them on sale at CDNN for $3.99 a piece. So I thought that was ridiculously good compared to six bucks. You know, two bucks cheaper. So I got four more of those. They make the probably, you know, if you're camping or hiking, the probably more reasonable size here, the 2400, which is just six blocks compared to the nine. Uh, those are $2.99, which is great. They're usually four to four fifty a piece, give or take. So got three of those. Um, again, I don't tend to walk around with these. I keep one of these in the car at all times, just in case. Just, you know, I keep granola bars and all sorts of other stuff. But hey, if somebody needs some food, you know, their calorie count's down, you gotta get things up. And again, I also keep uh, peanut butter in the car. Sounds crazy, but it's what I do. So, got lots and lots of this stuff. Um, lifespan on these things. Well, looking at the pack here, looking at uh, the package, one of these is expiring in six of 2015. So we're in 2012 right now, so three and a half years, give or take. A little less than that these days. Had to order them sooner. Um, 
about three years on most of these. I checked all the expiration dates, and they're all three plus years. So, three years. That's, that's decent, okay? You know, things start to get low. You know, you need to eat a few of these, okay? Don't, don't just forget about them. Um, I've got a few packs of these I'm going to have to go through in the near future. Maybe give some to friends so I can try them out and all that. They're not bad. You know, which size do you need? They are somewhat more cost efficient in the larger size. Again, buying in bulk always helps you out. It's going to save you 25 50 cents, something like that per, well, I don't know if it's per square, but overall, you know, if you do a cost comparison, it's a little cheaper for the bigger ones. Uh, they make these in the sixes. I think they make them in four packs or two packs. I can't remember. I, I just don't know. I should have done my homework. Didn't do that. Eh, whatever. I think this and this are good to go. Now, I'm going to move all this junk here and get down to the nitty gritty. So. I'll post all the nutrients and all that stuff down in the comments section, but each one of these squares has got 400 calories, okay? It's basically a pre-measured 400 calorie, and they typically recommend, in a survival situation, at least on land, 1,200 calories a day. So that's three squares. So three squares, 400 calories a piece, do the math, 1,200. Um, this is two days worth of survival. Now, is that enough for all of your caloric needs if you're expending yourself? You may actually expend up to 2,000 calories. That's okay. Uh, most of us have body fat. I have body fat. I got a fair amount of it. Need to lose some. But body fat, you know, in a starvation situation, that's what fat's for. It's to get you through. So, this with the nutrient and vitamin content and all that, plus your body fat, you're going to be okay. Will you lose weight over time? Sure, but hey, that's what you got the fat for. Use it. Who cares? Why waste, you know, free energy on your body? You know, don't let it go to waste. Don't eat the 2,000 calories a day. You absolutely have to. And you can eat more of these if you need to. But hey, let your body do some of the work. Um, these are lemon flavored. Um, I think they're the best tasting survival bars I've found out there personally. They taste like a lemon cake, basically. Kind of a hard, dry lemon cake is what they taste like. They're not bad. Now, would I want to subsist on these for months on end? Absolutely not. I'd want something else. But in a pinch, I'd eat these. I have eaten these. I use these sometimes when I want to open a pack that's getting close to expiration. I eat them in the evening for a snack. Just something to munch on. You know, munchies. They're okay. They're not bad, okay? Uh, I don't like coconut flavored. Some of the other ones, I can't remember the brands, are coconut flavored, some other stuff. I like the lemon better. I think that's more universal. Uh, these are kosher and halal if you're Jewish or Muslim. I'm not. I'll, I'll eat anything. I like pork. Bacon's a good thing. Yeah. If you're not eating bacon, you're missing out. Uh, one of life's great pleasures is bacon. So, anyway, these are good for anybody. Um, let's see. This one. This one's a 16-ounce pack. This one's a 24-ounce pack. I believe 24. Yep, 24-ounce pack. As it says here on the container, 400-calorie bars uh, provide a total of 2,400 calories for this one. Um, for marine-based environments, i.e. stuck on a boat, limited motivate, you know, motility, limited movement, you're not hiking or moving particularly as much as you want to land, the recommended consumption is two bars per person for 800 calories per day. Now, for land-based environments, which is all I'm care, you know, caring about here, the recommended consumption is three bars per day, or 1,200 calories. So six bars is two days worth, okay? So three a day, morning, noon, evening. Now, you're still going to be a little hungry? Maybe. But, you know, eat whatever else you got with you if you have to. This is going to do the job okay. Again, two days, three days. You know, whatever you want. Uh, these are a little bit cheaper, like I said. We'll talk about, well, I'll post the nutrient value of these. Now let me show you what this thing actually looks like using something so I don't mess up my ground light here. Ooh, paper towel, very high tech. Here's a bag of this stuff I've been munching on for the last week or so on and off. I just keep it sealed up. I've already broken up all these. I broke them up right before I opened the pack. There's one of them right there. Uh, pristine condition. I happen to snap those off very easily, very well. I got three more blocks in there to eat. Uh, not the best looking thing in the world, but it's okay. Uh, you're going to get some crumbles and all that off of it as you bite into it. So, you know, have your bandana, your handkerchief, just whatever you've got to catch the other extra pieces as you bite into it. It's not going to break apart too, too bad. Again, it's got a nice lemon scent. It really does. It smells very, very good. 
uh, again, like a lemon cookie, lemon cake, something like that. Very lemony flavor. Perfectly decent. Unless you don't like lemons. Again, I eat these. I eat these, I don't say regularly, but I, I might eat a bar or so every couple of months, something like that. I'll break open a pack that's close to expiration and replace with other ones. Uh, obviously stacked up and stocked up with the uh, cheap ones on CDNN. I don't know if they've got that gear going now, that deal. But not bad. you got some powder on the top just from being in the box and all that. If you see it there. Again, I, why let that fall to the ground? I'd rather pull these out of the pack inside of a plastic bag to preserve it because why waste good food? If you see here, you got some crumbles in the bottom and all that. Um, I could pick those out and eat them if I needed to. Again, why waste good stuff? Why let it fall all, all the floor of your boat or your campsite, something like that, and attract vermin? Why waste good calories? But again, not bad. 400 calories in this little block. That's decent. Now, is that a full meal? That's more than some people eat for breakfast and lunch. And they eat a big dinner. So, it's a good compliment if you've got other things in your pack, you know, out camping, survival. Sure, I wouldn't eat these as a primary unless that's all I had. Yeah, I'd rather have my ramen noodles or something like that. You know, my canned goods, all that in the house. Sure, okay. But for a basic, nutrient-rich food, this isn't bad. Not the best, but will it keep you alive? Yeah, it will. And again, if you're a big guy, you may need to eat more. That's fine. You eat what you need to. So, I will eat this one this evening. And a little snack before bedtime. But uh, the mainstays, you know, survival packs, they're decent. Um, I would say you probably need to have a few of these around, guys. Um, especially if you're in a boating or deep woods camping. Or if you've got a separate site. You know, you've got a campsite somewhere else, a... Uh, cabin, something in the woods, keep a few of these just in case. You say, well, I'm storing rice and beans up there. Yeah, but what if it's rainy and your wood has gotten wet and you can't start a fire and blah, 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 blah. At least you can rely on these. They're okay. Again, I'll post the nutrients and stuff in the comments section below. Um, I found these for cheap recently, so I bought a ton of them, as you saw, just because I couldn't pass that up. I like having these around. Anyway, MD Prepper, out.